spending the holidays hard at work rebuilding Puerto Rico. The Con Ed workers giving up time with their own families and why the work won't stop to celebrate Thanksgiving. Those stories are much more when Jumi and I see you in a few minutes at 5 o'clock. We are following every step of the fight to rebuild in Puerto Rico. Utility crews from right here in the tri-state are opting to spend the Thanksgiving holiday away from their own families in hopes of helping finally restore power to so many in need in Puerto Rico. That, of course, is the holiday spirit. News 4's Gabi Acevedo of our San Juan Bureau has the story from Isla Verde in San Juan. New York is coming to the rescue. Con Edison workers rolling out their heavy equipment to help rebuild and restore the electric power grid. It's one of the biggest jobs they've ever taken on, with half of the island's 3.5 million people still in the dark. Give yourselves a good round of applause. New Yorkers are leading the most important operation in the recovery and reconstruction of Puerto Rico on day 63 after Hurricane Maria. Over my 28 years, I've been through many hurricanes, and I have never seen devastation like this throughout the whole island. Every street I drive through, there's damage to the infrastructure, so it's a real, real challenge to get everybody back on power here on the island. Con Ed crew members arrive at the biggest housing project near the San Juan Isla Verde coastline. Residents in awe of the equipment and the work to get the lights back on. Julia Medina, one of the residents, tells us that she can't decide between crying or screaming in joy at the Con Edison workers. And this is what has people excited. Utility poles are going up and workers are running lines. I'm amazed how cooperative and grateful and how they are getting by their life day to day without power. And they have just been willing to cook us food, give us cold drinks, and they've been nothing but very, very helpful and they're great people. Public schools open for half a day even without power. Students hopeful of getting back on the grid before the end of the semester. The principal of the school tells us how they see the Con Edison employees working around the clock seven days a week. Con Ed has more than 200 workers and 150 vehicles on the ground working to restore power over the next five weeks. And the significance of their unprecedented mission is not lost on these New Yorkers. This is what we live for. This is what we work for. Puerto Rico is our second family. These, my co-workers are second family. We're happy to be here and especially at the time of Thanksgiving. The crew members of this Con Edison expedition in Puerto Rico requested not to have the day off tomorrow for the festivities of Thanksgiving Day, a testament to their commitment to restoring Puerto Rico's electric power grid. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, Gaby Acevedo, News 4 New York. Heartwarming to see so much work to be done there. What it's about. All right, Jim.